Hello! Today we're going to be showing our uh, easy measure bottles and the proper use of those uh, as well as some other measuring devices. Now what I have here is our small easy measure bottle that your uh, epoxy hardener would come in and as you'll notice it's got a an extra little cavity over on this side and, and one on this side. This is where we fill the bottle and if you want to measure out larger amounts you can just pour it out of here. Um, this side over here is a pre-measured amount and it actually has little lettering on it showing the graduation so if you want to fill it halfway or full you can. And um, we're going to show you how you use that today. Um, just so that you can see it I filled this with water with a food coloring in it to make it easier to see because our if it was the actual epoxy or hardener it would be almost perfectly clear and you'd have a hard time seeing it. Okay so what we do is remove the lid okay and you just literally I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit here so you can see this you just literally squeeze and you can see it the fluid coming up this outside tube and you go like this until the bottle is at the amount that you want to use. You let go. Now, when it's measured out like that, you're ready to go, but this is important. Don't pour it out this way. And the reason is, I'll show you here, is if you pour it this way, it'll go back into this tube and you won't get the proper amount. Okay? So, what you do is, I've got, I'm going to go back out here so you can see all of this. I've got my little mixing cup here and you would actually pour it this way. And that way you can get the proper amount out. Okay, now a couple of little tricks to this. Let's say that you get too much in here or you get some in there and you've decided you don't want to use it right now. Um, how would you get this back into here? Here's a trick. Open this side, okay, and actually it'd be best if you close this side back up for right now. Squeeze this quite a bit, then close it. Now, open this side and tilt it over to where it's at the at the uh, line of where the the hose comes in and slowly release and it'll actually suck the epoxy right back in there's a t there's a tiny amount still left in there but it takes almost all of it out of there of course you could always pour it into another cup and pour it back in here as well but um and that's it and what we have, our system is uh, two parts here, and these um, containers, there's, there's a large one and a small one. The large one, of course, would have the epoxy in it. The small one would have the hardener in it, and it's um, a two-part mix. See, it's uh, two parts epoxy to one part hardener, and so that's why they're, this one's twice as big as this one. Well, the cavities inside are also exactly twice as big. This one holds a half an ounce, and this one holds one ounce. So, one of, of this one's chamber to one of this one is the exact right mix for our epoxy. And, of course, like I say, they're also graduated for different amounts. You can only, if you want, you can fill half the container, um, and you'll get the same mix ratio. So, anyways, that's our... Uh, easy measure bottles and I'm going to go on to one other thing now um, we're also going to have these graduated beakers on our site for more manual measuring and we may have uh, epoxy available in other bottles these the the easy measure bottles are great but they are a little expensive and some people may want to have a cheaper bottle and do a manual measuring on their own. Um, these beakers are, are fairly inexpensive um, and you can either clean them out 
or you can throw them away. And they're very hard to see. Um, I'm going to pause this for just a second so I can get something. Okay, what I've done here is I've put um, a piece of paper inside this to hopefully make it a little easier to see the graduations on the cup. I know it's still really hard because they're the same color as the cup. Um, but uh, they are there. Now here's the problem. And I don't know why they made these cups this way, but these are still the best and cheapest speakers I could find with measurements on them. When you pour a clear liquid into here, if you move it at all, it goes up and splashes on the numbers because these numbers are embossed on the inside of the cup. They're, the outside is perfectly smooth. And what happens is, is they become clear, so you can't see the numbers. Well, what I do is I take a Sharpie. This one happens to be red. Um, and I will figure out a ratio because uh, this has milliliters on it. I like to use it because it's, it's easier to get a, an even ratio with those. So, like, if I want to mix up, um, if I want to use, uh, let's see here, 20 parts, 20 milliliters of epoxy um, or, or uh, hardener, I will mark right on the 20 millimeter line and then if I'm going to fill that, up, that much up with hardener then 2 to 1 that means I'm going to use 40 milliliters of resin which would end up to be a total of 60. So then I'll go up to the 60 mark and I have to hold this up to the light to see it here. There we go and I've marked it at the 60 mark for the resin. So what I do is I fill this up to this part with hardener and then up to here with resin and this is my initial mixing bowl. Then of course you would always want to when you have done mixing this for about a minute you want to pour it into another bowl and finish the mixing so that you don't get any um, unmixed product into the final mixing bowl. And that's about it for our measuring devices. We've made it fairly simple. We've got multiple methods you can use. We've got our easy measure containers. We've got our uh, measuring cups that are graduated on so you can see how much you're using. And uh, these are cheap enough that if you want to you can throw them away. And quite frankly that's what I do. But if you a little frugal you can clean these out but you got to use something like acetone or even uh, lacquer thinner to clean them out with and it's kind of a nasty chemical so depending on on your preferences you might want to just consider that part of the cost of the making the epoxy and chuck them anyways that's it for this video we'll see you on the next one